hear how happy I am that you are six feet under. Your traitor of a mother brought you into this world after having an affair with another man. But I promise you, Kido, I am going to make her suffer for betraying me and bringing a bastard into my family. Sorry, I can't make it today. No, it has to be first in tomorrow morning, okay? I have something very important to do now. Yes, yes, yes. Tomorrow. What is wrong with you? Don't you ever know how to do anything right? How could you serve me water without it being covered? Now will you get out of my sight before, before I beat the living daylight out of you? Idiot! I said disappear now! Nonsense! Have I done wrong to have beat you from the gutters? What nonsense? Is anybody here? Is anybody here? Yes, young lady. Good day, sir. What can I do for you? Um, I sir, somebody gave me this address that I should come, that they're looking for a maid. This is my place. You can come with me. Okay, sir. So you need a job. Yes, sir. Sir, I can do anything. I can cook, I can sweep, I can clean, everything. I know how to do everything. Oh, you can do almost everything. Yes, sir. Come tell me, are you also good in bed? Ha, <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, anyway, that was meant to be a joke. I know that as an unmarried convict, you are not allowed conjugal visits, so you probably have no experience in the bedroom. Oh, you thought I never knew you just got out of jail? How did you know about that, sir? Well, let us say that it's not important. What is important is you are here just like I wanted. So what is your name? Manisa. You have a beautiful name there. Thank you, sir. 
I think I like you. I'm going to let you stay here. But not as a maid. I want you to be my wife. Your wife? Oh, yes. I am making you an offer you can't get anywhere else. Mali, remember who you are. An ex-convict. And if I were you, I wouldn't hesitate. Here in this country, not many men would want to have somebody like you as a wife. Sir, but you barely know me. No, I mean, I am just meeting you for the first time, so why would you want me to be your wife? Because I want someone like you in my life. What does it matter if we're just met or not? What matters is that I want you to see my offer as my own way of giving you a new lease of life. In this country, like I said before, not so many people would want to associate with people like you. I want you to see this my great offer as a once in a lifetime opportunity. Money, please take it and be happy for the rest of your life. Well, sir, I don't think I have much of a choice. That is my God. You're welcome to my home. My name is Vanessa, but um, my friends call me Vanny. I've actually met you before, but in the past, you know. Wow. I was actually a husband's personal assistant before you two got married. Mm -hmm. Wow. Awesome. <laughs> I'm Manny, as you already know. Nice to meet you. Mrs. Vanny Clarence, I want you to know that you are now married to me, Mr. Clarence. And I always want you to introduce yourself appropriately. Um, so that's okay. I mean, in the public formality, I'm cool with Vanny. Well, from today onward, Vanessa is going to be a personal assistant as well as chaperone. Personal assistant? Chaperone? I don't need all that. I'm okay by myself. Sweetheart, it doesn't matter whether you like it or not. I want Vanessa to be your personal assistant and that is final. She's going to accompany you whenever you leave the house. She's going to be at your beck and call. You don't have to stress yourself anymore, okay? Vanessa do that. I hope you don't want to make me her maid. Relax, Vanessa. I want you to monitor her closely and report back to me every of her moves. Can you imagine it? She's still denying the fact that she never betrayed me. Just take a good look at you. Look at you. You mean that thing called man is cheating on you and you can't even do anything. You're just keeping quiet. Listen to me, Vanessa. I want to catch that bastard that got her pregnant and give them a lesson of their life they will never forget in a hurry. Besides, I'm not letting her have her way. You better get that into your dick. Oh, please so. don't talk to me like that. You can do that with her, not me. Cheers. Mr. Clement, you know what? I think this useless temper of yours is what's pushing your wife outside. You better deal with it. Excuse me. <laughs> How dare you challenge my authority in the presence of a stranger? How dare you? Challenge you? Why are you acting like I'm working for you? I am only doing you a favor. Damn it. Look, baby, I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean to sound like you. Please forgive me. Forgive you? How many times do I have to forgive your sorry as woman? As 
long as my job with the clearances does not jeopardize our future. Okay. I'm glad we understand each other. <sighs> so tell me, tell me about families. What kind of couples are they? Um, Clarence is um, he's domineering, he's um, possessive, and as for money, she's um, just kind of soft, she's calm, but you know she's not happy in the relationship. You know what baffles me is, in as much as she's not happy in the relationship, What's holding up? Because I am indebted to him. Clarence gave me another chance in life, and I would eternally be grateful to him. I feel my life belongs to him, so I cannot leave him. Besides, if I leave him, where would I go? Nowhere. You can go to hell, Victor. I don't care. <sighs> Sweetness, look, I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean to offend you. Please forgive me. See, Victor. I agree to do this because you are my boyfriend. Do you understand? But what I cannot stand right now is you telling me what to do and what not to do. I won't take it. Look, all I'm saying is, I don't want you to get too close to me. I'm afraid you might just, might just leave and I would want Clarence to find out that you're spying on you. That's what I'm saying. Come on. Come on, right, look. I want to understand. This is very important, okay? Hello, son. You know, I had to send you out of the country because the narcotic agency was closing in for you. And it was the best thing at the time that you left the country. So how is it now my fault that you were under the agency's radar? I was under the radar because I was working for you, Dad. Agreed you were working for me. But it was your show-off and reckless behavior that caught their attention. Now take a look at me for instance, so far. I have all the money, but I live a very, very crooked life. See, just take a look at me. I hardly go out. I work from home. I don't even have any domestic servants. I save my money in my own house. That is why I don't run any major account. So listen to me. I am doing all this because I want to avoid suspicion. Do you think I am a fool? No, 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 I am not. See, with this my lifestyle, I am avoiding completely the prying eyes of the agency. And I expect that you of all people should learn, should take a lesson from me. Take a lesson from you, Dad. Look who's talking. My advice when I talk to you against getting married to your ex convict wife. But I still remember telling you that I needed someone as naive as you want to be my wife. I still remember telling you that. You call her naive, Dad. But how come you say that no man got her pregnant? That doesn't paint a picture of a naive woman. To me. Anyways, I will be returning to the country this weekend and I will finally get the chance to meet your woman. Why? Why are you coming this with me? I have been here for two years, remember? And I think it's time I return because I'm, I'm no longer on the narcotic agency wanted list. Or do you want to keep your only son away much longer? Speaking of only son, Dad, I need some money. I sent you more than enough the last time, so I am believing that you still have enough money to take care of your flight tickets. But Dad, before I left the country, I was your loyal lap dog, and I deserve more than what you are giving me. Sorry, I'm giving you more than enough. Take care of yourself. Stupid child. So he thinks I plan on having only him as my result for life. 
if not for man's infidelity, I would have been a happier man. And Leo would not be using his presence to try to manipulate me. Were you spying me? What are you doing here? Of course not. I just came to tell you that dinner was ready. Oh, really? Each time I look at your face, I see the face of a traitor and a liar. I have never cheated on you. I have never lied to you. Which one is more annoying? Your infidelity or your lies? Despite all the evidence I have against you, you're still telling me you never cheated on me. I would like to see the evidence. Of course. You don't make demands at me? I am not making any demands at you. But you keep insisting that I cheated on you. So I just want to see the evidence of these allegations of cheating on you. That's all. What great orator you are. You know what, Mommy? You could make a great talk show host and give Oprah Winfrey the wrong for her money. But don't you dare deny the obvious by lying to me! I ran a DNA test on that your bastard child and it did not match with mine. You what? You heard me right. I gave an order to intercept some goods on the sea which allegedly belonged to Paris. You had no right to do that, Clarence. I am your wife, not a loose slot. Of course I have every right to do it. The goods were suspected to be laced with drugs. Look, I don't see how I'm breaking the law in any way. It's right into the I suspected my wife of infidelity and proved it to the truth. And you're here blabbing about the law? I am not blabbing. I'm just saying you might be going too far with this clearance investigation. Okay, if you say you have nothing against him, why not let him be? Let you be? I can't let you be, woman, because I don't forgive so easily. I assure you, your stay in this house is going to be miserable to the point that they would wish you never came out of jail. Did you kill me? Did you kill our daughter just to punish me? What are you talking about? Are you out of your mind? No! I am not out of my mind! But the way you have been going about... How dare you accuse me of something I know nothing about? Your bastard daughter was sick and died. And you accuse me? You accuse me? This is just the beginning. You better prepare for more difficult times in this house.
Remember you told me that if I change my mind, I should let you know. Do you want to know exactly why I changed my mind? Because I just discovered he's not worth my royalty. So I'm ready to help you. So you can fulfill your objectives, whatever it is. Yes, just tell me exactly what you want me to do. woman that I hated when I'm being lied to. I said, where were you a while ago? I've been here for the past 20 minutes. And before then? I was in the bathroom. Why? How come you didn't answer when I called? Probably because I didn't hear it. Were you by any means in my private room? How is that possible? Besides, I don't have the key. Um, Money, you have never met your husband's son before? No, I have not. So you can imagine how many thoughts I have. I wonder what you think of me. How do you mean me? Why? You think I'm a girl together. How can you say anything like that? Come on! Well, I guess I don't have no choice now. Um, so tell me, how do you meet my husband? Um, um actually, I... Um, I can know. see both of you are getting on fine. Anyway, Vanessa, I want to see you. Okay. Come with me. Mm. Vanessa, Stop. what in the world were you discussing with my wife? I did not bring you into this house to be acting all friendly with her. I'll tell you what I should be doing while I was away. Nothing, sir. And as for being friendly, I was only chief chatting her. I, I just want to know how it was. That's it. And where did the two of you go today? Nothing, sir. Just some shopping. Honestly, Vanessa. You are not doing the job I paid you to do. I paid you to watch over money and report back to me every of our moves. But it seems I am the one doing the job. Maybe I should hire someone else. If you hire someone else, who will take care of me? I mean... Okay, you see. You see, I am not just watching money. I am also watching you. <coughs> I 
I told you to beat the smelling guy is long. The man is doing a very clean business. His hands are clean. And how can I be so sure, Vanessa? Look, the only reason why I asked you to spy on Clarence is because I need to get my hands on those documents as soon as possible. I need the briefcase oh. as exhibit so I can formally charge the man with drug trafficking. If this briefcase is as important as you say, why not get a search warrant from your office? I can't. I I can't formally. I can. I can't get a search warrant. My boss won't allow it. Look, Clarence isn't a small fish. He has connections that can send you straight to hell. That's why I need it. I need it to help. Just think of it. If I can get caught on that briefcase, I can now expose all this illegal business within the country. But without it, I have nothing. Oh, so you think the documents or the briefcase will just be anywhere in the house? I am absolutely sure. I know how people make kind of things. They always have their illegal business document in a briefcase attached somewhere in the house. Oh, okay. No. And you think the briefcase will be dropped just anywhere in the house? Look, I am not saying it should be lying down anywhere in the house. The point is I need you to find it. I don't have the time. I don't have the time. Now, have you in any way come across any documents in the house? No, no. Why? You are his wife's personal assistant and you have unrestricted access to the house. So why haven't you? Wait, so let's start moving. Going after Clarence is like beating a dead horse. I will let the man be when I get hold of the place. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say. Vanessa, how did you go with Victor? The fool has refused to back up the investigations. But I'm still talking to him, he refused. What a idiot, he's just too stubborn for my life. He is also a maroon. So the fool thinks that you are on his side, right? Mm -hmm. What he doesn't know is that I am the one calling the shots. Clarence, for how long am I going to put up with us? You told me two months. And it's two years now. Are you serious? I understand, Vanessa. You don't know how much it pains me to know that you are with that bastard. Oh, please. I can't think to bear the fact that he is touching you. But Van, I know you understand it's all part of the job. I hope you do. Um, I was shocked when I received your call. Are you okay? There is trouble, Vanessa. That rookie narcotic agent is gradually closing in on me. I want us to do something fast about him before he does. Imagine he just resumed the agency now. He wants to be a hero. Okay, so what am I going to do? I want you to get close to him. How do you mean? What do you mean, how? Are you not a woman? I want you to seduce him. Throw yourself at him. Do everything you can with him. I want him to fall for you so that you can have him under your control. I thought you said he is a hard nut to crack. Besides, you know I am not just your assistant. We have something else going between us. He shouldn't know about this. Don't forget this guy is closely watching you. Anissa, no one knows we are together, not even my son Leo. I want you to do your part and keep him under your control. So what are you going to do? Get married and pretend to be the righteous businessman that I have. Get married? Okay, what happens to me? Vanessa, relax. My getting married is not stopping us from seeing each other. You're still mine, okay? Clarence, I'm not 
Clarence, why not marry me? Just marry me, I mean, marry me. Vanessa, I want you on the outside. See, I, I want more children right now and I cannot get them out of wedlock. So I need to get married as soon as possible. With my nature of job, you know, I cannot get married to every kind of woman. I need a woman that is naive and poor. A woman from a very, very poor background. With that kind of woman, I know she cannot give me out. Aisa, one of my prison contacts told me that a woman that fits into my description will be released from the prison. I told him to give her my contacts. She'll be coming to apply for a job as a maid in my place. When she comes, I'm going to propose marriage to her. And I know that she will not say no. So with all the cool ladies out there, you choose to get married to an ex-convict. I don't get it. Vanessa, I don't need those women out there because they cannot be trusted. Like I said, I need another child because my son Leo is failing me every day and I'm beginning to think that I might end up not making him my heir. Okay, we need a woman that won't sell you out because it's without what you need. Exactly, now you understand my point. I need someone who is naive, without a background. With that kind of woman, I can do anything to her and she cannot challenge my authority. Even as much as you want to marry me, I think you're making sense. I'm not making sense. This is just a perfect plan. Yeah. It's all part of the job. That's my call. It's going to be home now one day, okay? Keep an eye on me. What for? Um, I'm sorry, man. I'm just doing my job. I try to be the good wife. The almost perfect wife. I mean, absolutely nothing to the man that I call my husband. It breaks my heart to feel this way. I don't even know what to do. Um, Mommy, you're acting like he tied you up. If I were you, I'll walk through that door and never come back. Vanessa, how do I survive without Clarence? Despite the way he maltreats me, if I leave him, where would I go to? I don't have anywhere else to go. He gave me the chance to leave again, and I'm most grateful for that. That is one gift I'm paying dearly for now that comes with this price. Why are you acting like he's forcing you to stay? So that if I were you, I would walk out of the door and I would never come back. It's not that easy. Oh. Well, when he said the other day I was asking you how you met my husband, but you never answered. Um, I don't know why you're asking me that question. Like, why are you... If that is what Manny wants to know, why don't you give her the picture, Vanessa? I... 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 No, it's... It's nothing. It's okay. I, she doesn't have to. <laughs> of course, I don't need to explain anything to you because you mean absolutely nothing to me. How dare you? How dare you disobey me, Manny? How dare you? How dare you? Come back here! I said come back here! You bastard! It's been 48 hours since money disappeared from this house. Maybe I underestimated her. But I think it's time I inform some of my dogs to assist me in finding her. I want her here now. That will be necessary. I am back now to where I belong. And that thing is right here in this house. Oh my god, money, I am so happy you
can you explain to me where you were? I am talking to you, woman. I said, where were you? Now don't try my patience, woman. I want explanations from you about where you have been all this while. Oh, oh what? Hits me again. Since when did you start talking back at me? Since the day I decided that I will never let you mistreat me again in this house. Clarence, I am sick and tired of your abuse and false accusations in this house. Look, there comes a point in an abused woman's life where she has to stand up and defend herself from her husband. And for me, that point in my life is now. <laughs> Who have you been sleeping with? Man, what? If you ever, ever lay your hands on me again, I will defend myself. Look, I trust you, but time is running out. I need that briefcase. I actually pulled a fast one on his on his spy yesterday when she came around. I told her I was looking for some documents and she bought it. And that information gives us an advantage of a clearance. So while he's there watching his back, we can be there digging in his front. I understand. Please be careful. Okay? Yeah. See you soon. So what are you going to do, sir? I don't know, Vanny, sir. Mm. But this isn't a good sign at all. It is almost as if I don't understand money anymore. And with this new attitude of ours, it's going to be difficult for me to control her. Vanny, sir, do you know that money practically threatened me? More than ever. I want you to keep an eye on her. Find out all of her moves, who she talks to, where she goes to. I want you to be a shadow of day. Mm. That's my God. I know, Ralph. Uh, no. Oh. 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 Hi. I hope I didn't come in at the wrong time. No. I, I, I thought your flight was booked for the weekend. Uh, well, Dad, today, tomorrow, weekend, they're all the same, Dad. The most important thing is that I'm here. Dad, you sound like you're not happy to see me. Oh, no, on the contrary, I'm glad that you're back. Yeah. Oh. Um, uh, Vanessa? Sir? I hope you know my son, Leo. I introduced him to you before you traveled out of the country. Uh, oh, yes. Um, hi, Leo. Hello, Princess. Oh, I'm sorry, I think I'm comfortable with Vanessa. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 Vanessa. Dad, uh, does she work for you too? Oh, no. She's now my wife's personal assistant. And uh, by the way, where is your luggage and have you met Manny? Uh, yeah, my luggage is out there in the car and I'm here to see Manny. All right, uh, go get your luggage so that I will introduce you to Manny, okay? All right, all right, sir. This is bad luck. You think so? I know so. <laughs> 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 okay. I want you to meet my son Leo. I told you it would arrive by the weekend, but he rescheduled his flight. You're welcome. I am glad I finally met the woman who has stood in my father's heart. Father, what's up with her? Don't pay any attention to her. I'll take care of it. Come. You don't know me. 
Don't act to see if you know me You don't know me Yeah, you don't know me Don't act to see if you know me You don't know me I've been with Vanessa for over two years now And I must confess That girl, she's a damn good actress I knew from the onset that she was Clarence's girlfriend Sent to spy on me she came running along saying she doesn't like him and I played along pretty well. Yeah. Yeah, I deliberately gave her some information of which I know. Or should I say I'm certain of that she gave it to Clarence. Now now I have my eyes on him. And even though I don't have real information right now, I know someday I will. I'm coming to think of it. I think I like her. I want her closer. I'm enjoying the show. Yeah, even if I know someday she will end up spilling out. Do you really think it's a good idea? Look, with Vanessa, every idea should be tested. You know, I'm going to convince her it's just documents I need to get my hands on. Do you hmm? have any idea of the amount in the briefcase? <sighs> Let's say roughly $10 million. $10 million what? Look, don't get it twisted. That money is as of it that will be used to send him to jail. And remember, it, it's an ill gotten world. So please, do all you can. Please try. Because the time is ticking. All right, then. Take good care of yourself. <coughs> Seems to be a nice guy. I don't know. I haven't really gotten any chance to talk with him. Why? Because I don't want to. I don't think he's a bad guy though. I think you have to get a little because he has a very good way Hmm? I don't know. I'm just trying to watch my space. And why would you want to keep your space, stepmom? Look, so, this is your house. So you should be free. Hmm? Hello, ladies. Look, what is this about you keeping space and all that? If you're not comfortable with my being in this house, I could get accommodation elsewhere. That won't be necessary. No, Leo, listen, you can stay as long as you want to stay. I don't have any problem with that. Okay, I I went for a walk. Just one. Shower, okay? Alright. You don't know me. He said that when I don't know. Don't act as if you know me. You don't, don't know me. Trust me. You yeah. You don't know me. Don't act as if you know me. You don't know me. Hmm? Vanessa, I think your best is not good enough. I need results, and so far you've not given me any. Clarence, I cannot give you what I don't have. You want information between Manny and Victor, which I have already done. What else do you want? But... Um, I think... Um, I... I... I think... Uh, you think what? I think Manny is having an affair with your son, Liu. Vanessa, how could you come up with something like that? For goodness sake, you wanted information, which I have given to you. What else do you want? Vanessa, are you saying this so I could divorce money for you? Oh, please. That's a joke. I have already told you that I want you on the outside for now. While money is the right woman for me in the inside. Besides, yeah. how could the two have something going when they barely know each other? I know Leo could be a lot of things, but sleeping with my wife, no, I don't think so. Okay, I'm lying, right? Why not ask this money of yours? Besides, you will always be the last to know. Excuse me. Don't be ridiculous. How could you possibly think I have something going on with your son? I just ask you a simple question. Are you sleeping with my son? I can't stand here and listen to this nonsense. 
I have warned you never to walk out on me when I'm talking to you. Let me go. Let me go! How dare you disobey me? How Let me go! How dare you disobey me? Let me go! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Dad! Would you shut up? What is going on here, Dad? You're now defending her. So it is true. How dare you sleep with my wife? How dare you! Dad! Will you let me go? Dad, I will not let you go unless you promise not to touch her again. Why would I promise you, you traitor? Let me Dad. go! One more time, I promise to defend myself. Not that. I must be feeding you with such lies. Is it Vanessa? Dad, is it Vanessa? Mm -hmm. For the past two years that we've been dating, you've never taken me home. Why? Sweetheart, I thought we've talked about this before. Mm -hmm. I can't I can't take you home for now. At least not for now. Look, ever since I joined your agency, my life has constantly been at risk. I have stepped on the toes of powerful drug dealers. How don't you think you being my woman could Make you an easy target just to come back at me. Don't worry about me. I can defend myself. Sure, you can. Come on. You think you're a smart lady, but I will show you maybe smarter than you. Hmm. See his head. Do you think you're using me right? Hmm. By the time I'm done with you, you will know you're a big fool. I want to do that. You don't know me. Don't act to see if you know me. You don't know me. Yeah. You don't know me. Don't act to see if you know me. You don't know me. There she goes, telling someone she knew me when I was little. Vanessa, I'm not okay. How do you expect me to be okay after everything that happened last night? I, I. I didn't mean to cost you any trouble. Besides, I'm just watching your back. Oh, really? Yeah, you sure hardly have your way of watching my father's back. What do you mean by that? You are the one who has been causing problems or feeding my father with lies about money and I. But let me boss your bubbles. I am gay. I don't have your time. Now. It was me. Won't you greet me? You know, I... Okay, how do I say this? Manny, I know I falsely accused you when I said you had something going with my son. Honestly, I never thought I could say this. I'm very sorry. Please forgive me. Whoa. To have someone like you apologize to a nobody like me. Today must be Christmas. Anyways, keep your story to yourself. I don't need it. protects me. So how do you intend to do that? Um, I'll give Clarence positive information about you. At least with that, he won't have about you anyway. <laughs> thanks. But no thanks. I don't need your charitable offer. I'll take care of myself. You don't have to be so sarcastic about that. And you don't have to be so damn hypocritical. 
What did you take me for? A moron? Actually, I, I... No, you know what? This conversation is over. I'll be in my room. In case you still need to spy on me. Excuse me. Money was so good to me today. You know, you were absolutely right when you said she's getting out of control. Clarence, you wanted a wife that you could control, right? Right now, I don't think this is what we want. She's totally getting out of control. Don't you think she will be threat to your business? Maybe giving some information from Nafoti Kizonsi. What do you think? I don't think she will do that. She doesn't know about my drug business. And she has no evidence to use against me, remember? How do you know about that? What makes you feel so? See. If there is anything I've learned in life, I have learned never, ever to underestimate anybody. Vanessa, just relax your nerves. As far as I am concerned, money is a small fry. Besides, I've got something she doesn't have. Which is? Power. <laughs> oh. I know Clarence has got power over me, but I got something that he doesn't have. Surprise? Yes. We will surprise money by making her believe that she cannot have her way henceforth. I honestly don't believe he really wants me to have my way. I think he's setting up a trap for me. So. What is your plan? I don't know. I am so confused. Of course not. I'm not confused. I have all my plans figured out. Oh, yes. I'll think about it. I'm going out. And I don't want you to come with me. Oh, please don't be ridiculous. I should come with you. It's an order. Since when did you start giving me orders? Since the day I discovered the real you and what your intentions are. <laughs> okay. According to you, who is the real me? But you are my husband's lover. Where did you get that from? You can deny it. I don't care. I'm sorry, I have to come with you. You're not doing it. I will come with you. You're not. Waiting all day long for you. Hmm? Your father just took her now. And that stupid old phone money, she just escaped. So we have the house to ourselves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know how much I've been wanting to grab you. Hmm? Mm -hmm. I'm also pretending to my father and money that nothing is going on between us. It's not easy. Even do you think I'm finding it funny? I'm not. Sweetheart, we have to keep this on the way. Nobody should know about it. You know what? Right? <laughs> uh huh. What were you thinking when you told your father you're gay? Like you're gay? You know, I had to come up with something just for him not to suspect something going on between us. That's okay. your question. Now, my own turn. Why did you tell <laughs> my father that something is going on between me and Manny? Of course, you know I love to set that fool up. I just want to see her sad. I love seeing her cry. Don't you understand? You know now. And another reason is because I want your father to think I am so loyal to him. Yes, you are. Nobody must know about this. You know. I know what, Vanessa. If you had told me this before now, I would have prepared. Anyway, there's nothing. It's okay. And for that fool, money, 
You know, last night I had to put up an act just for her to feel I'm on her side. She didn't do that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, what we thought her was just a lesson for her to know that she shouldn't have married my father, mm. let alone bearing a child for him. Sweetheart, by the time I'm done with that bitch, <laughs> hey, now I can't wait to have you. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay. You don't know me. Come on, Louis. Come on. Yeah. Oh, you oh don't know my. Me. I've been expecting you, and since I didn't hear from you again, I just figured you got yourself into trouble. Now you said you needed to send me urgently. What is it? Yes, I've been thinking. So now I think I have an information that might interest you. You, I already told you how difficult it is to get the keys to the private room from your father. I told you. Darling, you promised me two years ago before I traveled that you seduce my father and have him give you the key. This day, every time I call you, you keep telling me you'll try, you'll try, you'll try. I don't, I don't get it. You I know what I said. And it's also not been easy for me. Your father is so difficult. Look for myself. You just have to try hard and get the key. You see, that boss contains money in large currency that we don't have to work all the days of our lives. I know about that. Why are you making me feel bad? Have you asked me for something before and I didn't do it for you? Okay, remember you asked me to do something for you. I did it right. Look, the narcotic agency are keeping eye on me. So I need to leave the country for a while. For how long are you going to leave? I mean, why? I don't know. Maybe a month, a year, two or so, but that's not important. What is important now is what I want you to do for me. Which is? My father wants to hire a private assistant and I need you to apply for that job. <laughs> I already have a job. Look, Vanessa, resign and take this one. I want you to start this job before I leave the country so that I can be assured that you will do the rest of the job while I'm away. What's this job all about? Okay. There's a briefcase in my father's private room. I have tried every means to get the keys to that room, but I couldn't. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be around for a while. So what's in this briefcase? Why is it so important to you? How did you know? In that briefcase is about $10 million. My father stole it from his business partner. He kept it in the house. Of course, you know, he cannot bank it. Of course, I'm, 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 I'm so game for this kind of deal. You know I don't want so much. I can even sell my mother for money. You know what? But there is one more thing. Which is... Working for my father requires that you share his bed. Really? Ah, oh, that's good. So, what is it? I'm, I'm all ears. I found a way we can get into his private room without the keys. No. No, we can we cannot do that. We're supposed to be discreet about this. Come on. If you do it will attract clients' attention and you will need a third party involved because there is no way you're gonna pull down that door all by yourself. Good enough. So what? Am, what else am I going to do? I can't wait to just have my freedom from that Clarence. Look, I know you're trying, your best, but come on. This is this is not like the movies. You could just do anything you want. This is reality. If you pull down that door, 
The bomb. What else do you want me to say? I'm desperate. I'm ready to try out any possible means to get into that door and have my freedom from Clarence. At least let it be how to pay him back for all the humiliations that he, have, he has cost me. You know, I'm glad your eyes are finally open. Now, you're doing this. Initially, you just said no to me without even thinking. What else am I supposed to do? If that's the only way I can pay him back all the humiliation that he has cost me, then I had to come to you. You know, I'm happy I gave you the courage to stand up to him. Do you remember the night you ran away from your house and you spent two days at my place? How can I forget that? The night that Clarence almost beat me to death. I understand how you feel. Ever since I saw you at the present two years ago by chance, I just liked you. And if I had known you would end up getting married to that bastard called Clarence, I would have stopped you. Clarence is not a good person and he's doing all of this because he knows you have nobody to turn to. And in return, I will get you your freedom. Okay? A good case for your freedom. <sighs> well, all that drama will soon come to an end. Hmm? As soon as you get me what I want, then you can have your freedom. Okay? Don't worry, I know you feel very times. So you mean Manny went out today all by herself? Yeah, Clarence said that stupid fool is so stubborn. <laughs> Who would have thought that the woman you called naive changed her mind? Hmm? And the guy thinks she's just not him. I mean, her stubborn behavior, it would be a man. A man? Mm -hmm. oh, what man? Mm. But I just wouldn't want to be responsible for it. You don't know me. Don't act as if you know me. You don't know me. Yeah. You don't know me. Don't act as if you know me. You don't know me. There she goes, telling someone she knew me when I was little. There he goes, still looking at me in the eyes of feeble. There we go, still thinking that because we sleep on the same bed, that we have the same head. Uh, no, no, no. And there she goes, still thinking that my life is bad and worthless. There he goes. You have no idea how happy I will be if I finally have my freedom from Clarence. <sighs> Do you have anything new for me now? No, not really. But I'm optimistic something good is going to come out. Victor, I was thinking, um, what if the briefcase is found and Clarence goes to jail? I'm just trying to see what if Leo the son comes to make claims of everything. Look, that shouldn't be your worry right now. Okay? Just leave it to me. I will make sure you take possession of some of his properties, if not all. So just put your mind at peace, okay? Okay. I have to go now. I have some things to take care of. Oh, I see. Are you going straight home right now? No, I have other things to take care of. Why? Nothing. No reason. Just take good care of yourself, okay? Okay. Um, I hope to hear from you soon. Yeah. You soon. don't know me. See if you know me, you don't know me. Yeah, you don't know me. Don't act as if you know me, you don't know me. There she goes, telling someone she knew me when I was little. There well, well, well. Who do we have here? The fool who refused to let me, a single woman, come to his home. But you are so comfortable letting a married woman into your home. How did you find out that I leave Are you supposed to be asking me that stupid question? I'm going to ask you one more time. How did you find out that I leave here? Don't just shut up, you two-timing bastard. Two-timing two bastard? 
Did I hear you correctly? What is dude timing about having fun with a free girl like you? <laughs> oh, you now call me a free girl. You're oh. calling me a free girl. In case I need to refresh that lock dumb memory. I am your girlfriend. Oh, no, sweetheart. You are not my girlfriend. Come on, I only use you to spy on Clarence. Just the same way he's using you to spy on me. How, how did you know about that? Come on, sweetheart. Do I look dumb to you? I actually know your, your dating Clarence. That he sent you here to spy on me. And to seduce me. Well, it's all good. How did you know about that? Well, just because you're asking, I'll tell you. You know that watch I gave to you on the day of the day? Yeah, that one. Well, I have a recording device planted on it. Yes, you know when you run to me saying you don't like Clarence, this and that, I actually wanted to believe you. Indeed, I, I just I believed you, but I had to be careful, sweethearts. And that watch mm, gave you up. You know what? This is not over yet. By the time I deal with you, I swear hey! I cannot talk with the same mouth you're talking with. God, what would you do? What would you do? Let's see. Well, there's nothing you can do about it. Really? There's nothing you can do about it. You had fun, I had fun, and we both enjoyed ourselves while it lasted. But let's just say I enjoyed it more while it lasted. So just a fool. Maybe I should call you Van Sweetheart. Let me see you out. Sweetheart. Oh, Dad. Are you ready? I'm ready, sir. Ah. Uh, you know that I, I was thinking, now that you're, you're not going to be around, don't you think Vanessa should have some days off? Oh no, she's going to be around to continue to monitor money, okay? I've talked it over with her, so there is no problem about that. Okay, so let me get the keys. Alright, alright. Let me fast enough. Alright, sir. Down. Calm down. Do you know money is dating the narcotic guy, the victor of a man? I just cannot wait for your father to come and I'm going to tell him all of it. Sweetheart, this is good news for us. Don't you think so? Who cares who the bitch sleeps with? Just a matter of time, my father's abuse and I will push her into another man's arm. Look, I don't, I don't want another woman to bear my father a child. I want to be the only heir. Some point, I was kind of feeling bad. Like, why did I pay the nurse to switch the child? But right now, I am so happy I actually paid that nurse to switch the child. And they gave them a dead child. <laughs> oh my god. You know, you, you did me a great favor. Guys. You know that, right? Imagine that boy being in this house. I think you that made that brat his head. <sighs> Can you imagine? Hmm. It's a shame my father is not going to find the whereabouts of his spiritual son. Oh. Look. Look, let's forget about this too now. Let's concentrate on how to get the key. You know what? Just give me a moment. Let me just to come and let me get some. Stand 
standing at the door and I heard everything. Anyway, where is my son? What did you treat us do to my son? What did you talk to me? What did you do to my son? What did you do? What did you do to my son? Vanessa here called me that you wanted to get married to another woman. So I was threatened. I asked her to keep me posted about all your dealing. Yeah, I actually got information from you. You told me how money was going to put to bed and everything. So I was paid. I just got a nonsense swaps the child. Does it? This is insane. How could you do something like that? How could you? So that you could run a DNA on the child. Find out that she isn't yours. And throw money out of the house. Look, Dad, I was going to do it to every woman you got married to. Mr. Clarence, you remember you got a call from a strange number saying money was cheating on you, blah, 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 blah. Lies. I did all of that. I used the voice changer. Yes. So money has been right all along. Mm -hmm. She vehemently denied that she never cheated on me. But I never believed her. Well, she might not have cheated on you, but that fool is doing it right now with that big-headed Victor. So where is my biological son? How will I know now? This is what you're asking now. How will I know? So many children were giving birth to on that day. So I don't know where your child is right now. Maybe the child is in a bakaliki or whatever. I don't know. Look, Dad, that child is better of wherever he is right now than in this house. You two are evil. But I promise you something. I will do everything within my means to locate my son. Oh, please, I don't care about your promises. What concerns me right now is how to get the keys. Can you just tell us where the keys are, please? Why do you want the key? Come on, Dad. How can you be asking such a question? No. All you need to do is just to go into the room, get 
get the key, you quiet, I mean, you quietly walk into the room, get us the money, the 10 million dollars, you get the, and everyone is happy. How did you know about that one? <laughs> Dad, Dad, come on. Look, I know stupid. I know about your dealing with the international businessman abroad. The man you took 10 million dollars and had. You kept the money to yourself. That your selfish interest made you to keep the money to yourself without giving me not even a dime. Dad, come on. He hired me to stick <sighs> with you for two years. Because we really need that money. Oh, I hear that. I am sir. just an ambitious lady who needs money so much. So please, can you just stop wasting my time and tell us where the keys are? Can you? Funny, sir. Even if I give you the key, do you know I can actually call the police? With which hand? With your hands tied? What are you going to tell the cops? Hello, is this the cops? A thief just stole the money I stole from somebody else. And the culprits are my son and my ex-girlfriend. My dear, wake up from your slumber. Just give me the key. Oh, Mr. Cash! Just give me the key! And stop talking! I saw his car packed outside when I got in. So maybe he's in his private room. Look, just be careful, okay? And in case he confronts you, stand up to him. And don't allow him to intimidate you. Do you understand? Sure. I will. Thanks. Bye. You don't know me. Don't act as if you know me. You don't know me. Yeah. You don't know me. Don't act as if you know me. You don't know me. Ooh, we are fresh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Good. No, 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 no. Look, there is no way my brother can die himself. If he finally does, we'll have gone by then. So, what are you gonna do? Uh, we're gonna stay here for now, then tomorrow I go back to the States. Excuse me. No, 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 How come Karen's car is still packed outside? And he didn't sleep here last night. Where could he have been? Maybe he slept at Vanessa's place because she's not here either. Why am I even bothering myself where he slept? It's his life, it's his business. I can't be bothered. Hold on. And he's not in his private room. Ah, yes. 
this is the best opportunity for me to go and look for a way to open that room. Yes, I'm going to search for those spare keys and try my luck. Yes, I'll do that. I have not seen any of them since yesterday. Yes. So I think you should come to the house and pick it up. Mm hmm. Okay. Sure. You mean in the next two hours? That's fine by me. See you then. <sighs> I think I should just go back to. I don't know if you have to bump into him. That's what I should do. Yes, that's what I should do. Okay. Yes. Leo! I don't think he's even around. Leo? 
Leo. 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 It was your fault that they swapped our biological son. My fault that they did was. What are you talking about? Oh. Oh, yes. But like I said, it was your fault. If you had been more observant after delivery, maybe this wouldn't have happened. I'm sure you were sleeping and the nurse easily swapped our child. 
You are damn lazy, stupid and naive. Would you untie me immediately because I've got things to do? I have to look for a son. What sort of man? First you accuse me of cheating on you. Then Vanessa and you did this to you. You still blame me. Initially I thought that this your whole mistreatment on me is all my fault. But no, I've just come to realize that it's because it's in your nature. Men like you just like to treat men like me with content because you feel we're picked up from the gutters. It boosts your ego for you to be in control of your woman. But honestly, all that is going to end today. Manny, what are you blabbing about? I said untie me. I have been held up here for 24 hours and I have something very important to do. Are you deaf? No. I'm sorry, Clarence. I have to keep you here for some time. I have some things to take care of. Money! Wait until I lay my hands on you. You bastard! As soon as I get a warrant for his arrest, huh? um, man, did you talk to him about this? Of course, but I wouldn't do that. This is our little secret, remember? Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's going to continue to remain our little secret. What are you doing? It means I don't intend handing over this briefcase to any agency. It's mine. It wasn't our agreement. It was for you to make me get my freedom from Clarence and also help me get these properties. I lied. Okay, Manny, I'm sorry, but I lied to you. Why? Why? Because you're a naive woman who believed everything I told her. Look, it's nothing personal, okay? I just got back what belongs to me. It's mine. Clarence and my father used to be very close friends. Two years ago, they had a deal, and Clarence took across my father, assassinated him, and took the briefcase for himself. So now you understand when I say this is mine, it is mine. So you joined the narcotic agency to investigate Clarence? The obviously I did. I've been, I've been thinking about that day. I wanted to know what would went down, and of course, I have to join the agency so I can get close to him. But you should have just easily reported him to the authorities and get him arrested. What authorities, man? Huh? With what proof? And even if I had proof, I would have ended up implicating myself. My father was a funny businessman and a drug peddler. Now you see why I can't take this to the authority. Look, I am sorry. I joined the agency. I was. Hoping to get a search warrant for his apartment, but it wasn't forthcoming. I went as far as using some some real bad guys, hoping they could retrieve the briefcase for me. They were all unsuccessful. But <sighs> so you bumped into me after I was released from prison, found out I was married to Clarence. I then was the perfect person for you to use. Bingo! You took the words right out of my mouth. I know. Why do you have to use me like that? Oh, a man better do what a man better do. Stop what are you going to do to me now? I promise not to say a word to anybody. Please don't do anything back to me. Come on, man. I'm not a mother, okay? I'm not going to kill you. What? I'm going to knock you out. Maybe. Let us say you will gain consciousness in, say, 15 minutes. And by then, I should be on my way to your what? Well, how do you intend to pass immigration with 
such an amount of money. That's all this question. Look, man, I'm about to solve the law and I can go over my way. Now praise yourself for what is to come. I see you have finally regained consciousness. And I can see that a traitor like you is still alive. Come on, it's it's not impersonal, okay? I just cut back what belongs to me. If I were you, I would be a little smarter. What do you mean? Just a fool. Do you think it's such a huge amount of money to you? Just funny. You're also dumb. I was even surprised when you believed me when I said you didn't have to open the briefcase. So you think I'm that naive? Why not take a look? Oh, I don't know. Your money. So now you believe me? Where are you right now? Oh, you think I'll still be in the house after everything? <laughs> Where is I'm talking to you right now? I'm on my way to a 10 star hotel. Oops. I'm sorry, Victor. There's no 10 star hotel. Okay. I'm on my way to a 5 star hotel. Where you'll never get to see me again. How could I have missed this? How could I have missed this? Oh, Victor, I'm sorry, dear. You allowed a poor ex convict woman, outsmart an intelligent, macabre man like you. I have something you don't have instinct. My instinct told me what to do, and I acted upon it. Bye, Victor. Money. Money. There is! Welcome. Mighty Money. You can't be this mean. I have been tied up here for over 24 hours and you act as if you don't care. How <laughs> will I care? Please untie me so that we can go and look for ourselves. Have patience, my dear. You will be untied in And why are you touching me? Please don't do this to me. Am I the one that tied you up? Just that I feel safer with you being tied. At least that will give me some comfort that you will not hit me. You don't seem to care about what I told you concerning our son. Now in case you lost your eardrum while in prison, let me repeat myself. Vanessa and Leo connived to steal the son you gave Beto and give you a baby girl instead. Wow. Why would they steal our son when there was no baby? 
What do you mean there was no baby? What are you talking about money? Well, I was never pregnant. I remember the baby that was stolen was a Surprised? Well, you shouldn't be. Because you were responsible for my actions. What do you mean? What do you mean by how? I was just released from the prison and then you made me a marriage offer. After getting married to me, you started maltreating me, humiliating me. You never respected me. Then I thought the birth of a child Come now. But then I never took him. After a series of tests, I found out that I couldn't bear children. So I had to find pregnancy, and you believe me? I can't believe I'm hearing this. Money, you're not seeing this. Throughout the pregnancy, it was very easy to convince you because you never showed any affection. So while my fake baby bump was busy growing, I knew I had to act fast. Vanessa and Leo told me something different. If Vanessa and Leo told you anything that they swapped our baby, that means whomever did that for them just had a bit of money. I can't believe this. I just can't believe this. Well, the time that I cooked up my plans happened to be the same time that the teenager I adopted her child also took him. So it was easy for me because the head nurse made everything easy for me. Then after she gave birth, she just gave the baby to me. My name. Once a criminal, always a criminal. You are going back to jail for this. If not for deceiving me at least, for stealing the baby, oh yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. I am not a criminal. I only did a favor to the teenage girl that adopted her child. But for you, I don't regret anything. I needed to secure my place in this house. Clarence, you made my life miserable. I thought the best of a child would make everything easy and calm you down, but no, it made it worse. Then after the birth of our child, you started accusing me constantly that I was cheating on you. Then you found the DNA test that shows the baby was not yours. Clarence, did you kill our child? Did you kill our daughter? How could I have thought that you of all people could be capable of scheming something this evil? Well, I may have underestimated you. But out of curiosity, how did you get the money to pay the nurse? Because I know she must have collected a whole lot of money from you. But I never gave you much money. How did you get the money? I stole the money. From where? From your briefcase. What briefcase are you talking about? The one in your private room. How did you know about that briefcase? <laughs> well, I stumbled across your keys. So when I got into your private room, I discovered the briefcase. I carefully pulled out some thousands of dollars from different bundles so that you will not notice. Yes. But then, when I went back to take some more money after I asked you to give me money to buy some clothes for our daughter, I found out that you had changed the locks. That seems right. You are no different from those other criminals, Vanessa and Leo, who all wanted the same briefcase. Yes, you're right. I am no different from them. I am better than them because I now have. Money, go and get me the briefcase. I said, go and get me the briefcase. Oh. Come and get it. Come. Get up. Oops. Oh. You can't even. 
even stand up because you're all tied up. Money, I'm going to kill you. This is exactly why I don't regret my actions. Because you deserve it. You know what? Consider this briefcase as a compensation for all the times you maltreated me, humiliated me, hit me. In fact, this is not even enough compensation because you used me to practice your busting skills. I think maybe you should open up a, a busting competition with Floyd Mayweather and let's see who will hit each other. Mommy, I am going to kill you for this. I will kill you for this! No. What you will have the privilege to kill is my memory. But before then, I will be far away going to where no one can find me. Relax. Relax. In six hours, I will send someone to come and untie you. But before then, have a nice day. I learned in prison never to toy with a human's feelings or emotions. Because those feelings could transform into a bee and sting you. I also learned never to ignore a beggar by the roadside. Because he might just have a few extra bucks to buy you dinner. But above all, I learned never to underestimate nor take anyone for granted because the journey isn't for the swiftest nor smartest but for the luckiest. Hmm. Clarence was powerful. Victor was smart. Vanessa was ambitious. Leo was greedy. Even though we all have one thing in common, the love for money. Only I got something they all wanted. Yeah! If you know me, you don't know me. Yeah, you don't know me. Don't act as if you know me. You don't know me. There she goes, telling someone she knew me when I was little. There he goes, still looking at me in the eyes of feeble. There we go, still thinking that because we sleep on the same bed, that we have the same head. Uh, no, no, no. And there she goes, still thinking that my life is bad and worthless. There he goes, still thinking of using my talents for 